Hello and welcome to episode 12 of Backyard Farm. I have washed the tractor and taken the roof off because I'm going to take it for service today. The eggs are on the back of the multi-purpose tool because believe it or not this is the cell point for the eggs right next to our farm. I've also washed the van and I've got the trailer attached so I'm going to use the van to take the tractor to the dealership to get it serviced but first things first we'll sell the eggs so it's hopefully just a case of reversing into here okay I might have to take the last two boxes off by hand okay let's do it and the last one come on accept my eggs ah there you go so we've made quite a bit of money about a thousand pounds maybe just less so not too bad so that's all the eggs sold and I'm going to sell the multi-purpose tool and I'm actually going to sell the van hence why I've washed it the reason for that will become apparent shortly but I'll drive the tractor onto the trailer and we'll head over to the dealership Whoop. and there we go so I'll fold the trailer up and away we go what's the traffic like today seems quite quiet I like it when it's quiet so the reason I'm gonna sell the van is really it's a bit big for what we need it for I think we're gonna buy something a bit smaller and a bit cheaper not as big as a car or a, a pickup truck but something nippy something we can use to drive around from place to place but something cheap low maintenance and an all-round good runner so I've had a look on the internet and they actually sell the Mahindra Retriever which is a all-terrain vehicle with a like a little motorbike engine and I think really that will be quite beneficial to us because we can sell the van and buy the Mahindra and make a bit of a, a profit as well so I've unfolded the trailer turn the van off jump on the tractor and first of all I'll sell the multi-purpose tool because we don't use it anymore not with the pallet forks on the front loader so hopefully the dealership will service this tractor today and I don't know, change the filters, put new tyres on it, whatever they need to do really. And hopefully it won't be too expensive, but it certainly needs doing. There we go, drop those off. And I'll sell them. There we go we made over five thousand pounds that's not bad considering we didn't use them so I'll fold the trailer up and disconnect it and then I'll sell the van 
hopefully we should get a few thousand pounds for this okay goodbye van there we go that's what I'm talking about forty five thousand pounds so I'll reverse the tractor up to the workshop and we'll go and notify them and they can start working on our tractor but it's nice and clean this morning I used the pressure washer and I washed the van, the tractor and the trailer but I'll go and talk to the people in the shop and we'll look into buying this Mahindra Retriever and here it is £17,200 so we'll buy that and I'll order the service so £37 so they say they're going to change the tyres on the tractor and all the filters so that should make a decent difference and here is our new vehicle the Mahindra Retriever 1000 so it's a bit more practical a bit nippier and I like it so considering we sold the van made £45,000 we only spent £17,200 on this and it should be able to pull the trailer no problem so we'll connect it there we go so the first job on the list today is we're going to head over to Marwell Man Farm because Mr West has contacted us yet again he needs us to work on field one hopefully for the last time this season I think he needs us to spray some fertiliser on the field and here we are at Marwell Manor Farm and this vehicle is nippy and very manoeuvrable I like the suspension on it and it has a surprising amount of power for a motorbike engine so overall I'm quite impressed with that certainly a lot more practical than the the van so we'll go and talk to Mr West and see what he'd like us to do yeah I was right he wants us to spread some fertiliser and apparently he's got a big sprayer just up here so we'll go and jump in it it's a Stara sprayer and it's just round these sheds apparently oh that's it there okay that's huge predator well we've started it up and it's very nice in here as is all of Mr West's equipment so we'll drive over to field number one again and this has very good visibility and quite powerful I don't know why he's got the uh, the class tractor out I'm sure he's using it for something later I don't know right we'll turn right here and left round the corner to the entrance of the field and this actually has GPS which is quite interesting now I think we've got to extend the 
wheelbase out so I'll do that now I think that's done it let's jump out and have a look yeah that's certainly wider okay let's unfold the sprayer and we'll drive out into the middle of the field a little bit so we don't hit any hedges because it is a very wide working width but it needs to be on this field to be honest yeah it's huge so this shouldn't take too long okay I'll manoeuvre onto the edge of the field and you can move the sprayer up and down but I think we'll leave it up there we are I'll get started I'll see you in a minute And that's the whole 14 acres of the field fertilised. So I'm just folding the sprayer back up because we've finished using it now. And it has been quite good using this. Nice and easy. Only took about an hour and a half to fertilise the entire field. And there's still well over half a tank of fertiliser. So really it consumes it quite well and it has a very large tank capacity I don't know how much one of these costs probably around £200,000 at least so we won't be buying one of our own anytime soon but we don't exactly need one either but it's been a different experience from driving a tractor with a sprayer on the back that's for sure so I've folded the wheelbase back up again and we're going to head over to the shed park the sprayer up as we've finished with it and we'll go and see Mr West and collect our payment should be around nine, ten thousand pounds that'll bring our bank total up to seventy three thousand which will be welcome so we'll leave the sprayer here, turn it off, so yeah, the Stara sprayer.
very nice. I wonder if we'll get to use his class tractor again. I really enjoyed driving that last time. Well, he has paid us ten and a half thousand pounds, so we've got seventy-three thousand pounds in the bank, and I think our tractor should be ready for picking up. So we'll head over to the dealership and hopefully pick up our tractor and take it back to the farm. It won't take long to get back to the shop in the Mahindra. And here we are. Just coming up to the forecourt, so we'll see if our tractor's ready. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Yeah, it must be ready. So I'll park here and unfold the trailer. There we are. Right, let's have a look. So immediately I can see we've got some new tyres. Trail Borg. And apparently they've changed all the filters so it is running quite smoothly still black exhaust coming out of the top but I don't think there's much they can do about that so it's been fully serviced it's got nearly a full tank of fuel and it's been washed so it's in good condition now fold the trailer back up there we are so let's head back home yeah it's surprisingly powerful this little motorbike engine I suppose it's because the chassis is so light and there's really good visibility and it is quite nippy so I am pleased with this here we are back home but yeah for seventeen and a half thousand pounds you can't go wrong so I'll open the gate and we'll drive on to the grass and we'll disconnect the trailer there we go and we've finished with the Mahindra today so I'll park it back up in front of the house and look how quick it is it's brilliant isn't it just zigzags nips in and out of, of places really really quickly there we are and come back a bit more so I'll move the cone a little bit seeing as we don't need it all the way out there now excellent space saving yeah I'm happy with that right so let's take the tractor off and we should have a lot more grip now on the rear tyres seeing as they are a lot more meaty and they are brand new but it feels quite good lots of traction I certainly notice a difference so I folded the trailer up what I'm gonna do I think I'll leave the trailer about here 
because I think today is a good opportunity to get the bales of silage sold. I mean we've sold the eggs, we've sold the van, we've sold the multi-purpose tool and I think today we'll sell the silage bales as well. So I'll attach the front loader, disconnect the forks, go and pick up the bale spike squeeze in here next to the new mower there we are I've got the bale spikes so what I'll do I'll take the trailer and the front loader back to our field and to be honest, I quite like the idea of not having the roof on the tractor, in this weather certainly. I mean yes it's, it's a godsend in the rain, but of course it's not raining now. We have much more visibility, especially when using the front loader up above us. But the only downside of course is we haven't got the beacon attached to the tractor at the moment but when it rains we'll attach the roof to the tractor again so I'll just quickly close the gate and we'll head over to the field here we are and you can see our 17 silage bales all lined up ready for transporting on the trailer so again we'll open this gate and we'll drive up to the stack of bales okay I'll disconnect the trailer oops I disconnected the bale spike by accident so let me just pick that back up there we are I've got that now so the trailer is disconnected so all that's left to do is to line up with the first bale I'll do the top row first and then move on to the bottom right so from the top left to the bottom right I'll see you in a minute. We're in the money, we're in the money. So here we are at Southviews Farms and we've got 
the 17 bales of silage stacked on the back of the trailer. Uh, that job took about just over or just under two hours I think so wasn't too bad it's now five past twelve in the afternoon and we started at eight o'clock so really we've not had a bad day we've had the tractor serviced and we've sold the multi-purpose tool we're about to sell the silage and we've sold all of our eggs and we are about to make a lot of money I hope so if we can get up to about £85,000 I'll be happy with that anything more and I'll be very happy so I'll disconnect all these straps right let's take them all off there we are right let's go and sell the bales so how much are we gonna get so we've got nearly seventy four thousand pounds and we sold the bales for over twenty thousand pounds wow so we've now got ninety four thousand pounds in the bank which is amazing we've actually got more money than we started off with so that is excellent the only difference is we have a tractor we have a field we've paid a lot of money off the mortgage so really we're in a good position now once again here we are back home and I think today we'll stay here we haven't got any other jobs to do so I'll just drop the trailer off let me open the gate and to be honest I'm quite impressed with the service that the dealership have done on the tractor somehow they've improved the handling I know there's new tyres on the tractor but somehow it just feels more powerful and grippy so really it's a lot better than it was and it was not expensive to get it serviced so I think we'll definitely do it there regularly so let me just line the trailer up there we are and it looks a lot better now I've washed it as does the, uh, the tractor and I'm quite impressed with the visibility I have without the roof so I'll definitely leave it off until it rains again there we are that's the bale spike dropped off in the shelter so I'll drive over to the other shelter and attach the pallet forks and we'll drop the front loader off connected lower it down and disconnect there we go that can stay there but yeah 94,000 pounds that is not bad I'm gonna go in the house in a few minutes and have a look on the internet and see what if anything I should buy I don't really know what the next step for the farm is but uh, I'd like to have some area to plough and to seed so that we can have arable I'd like to grow some wheat or some barley let me pay off the bank loan 5,000 so that's 120,000 left so I hope you enjoyed the video cheers for watching see you soon